Anything for anybody. They don't need Shoes, cookies, cameras. Yeah, I mean, they, they just took a $12,000 camera and just was like, no, this is ours now. They, they took it. Um, right now, they got both men in the ropes. This is uh, this is gonna be just a good old fashioned fight. Like they're, they're, this isn't gonna be a wrestling match. This is just gonna be a straight up. Fight. I'm looking forward to see this fight. See who wins. And the, of course, the champion, the Alley Rat Pit, will be facing off against the Devil Hojo Devlin. I mean, the, these guys are just, I mean, they they are brawlers to say the least. That is the least word I can use to describe those two. I guess one would be an alley rat could be a word that I describe. There you go. <laughs> Something like that. Now, these two men have had a little bit of a history together. You know, they have duked it out before. So, this should definitely be a very, very interesting fight. I'm, look, I'm really looking forward to this. I mean, these are two... I mean, Pitt definitely has an advantage for the size. Yeah, but Hojo might have, have beaten the shrink department in a great drop hole takedown. And he seems pretty quick. Yeah, Hojo, Hojo surprised me with that speed. Now, Pitt is slow to his feet because, once again, if you work on the knees, a big man's not going to be able to stand up quickly. Showing a sign of respect, shaking hands, and, of course, Hojo not being that respectful and just working on those knees again. That, this could really take some mileage off of Pitt's career if he keeps working on the knees like he started. Hojo's on the rope. Oh, oh. and that second rope knee stomp. I mean, yeah, he, he's just really trying to wear him down. Mainly from, oh. mainly starting at the bottom. I guess I guess if you take out the base, the tower will fall. That's right. If he, if he can't stand, he can't take a Hojo. Exactly. I mean, and half of pitch strength is in his legs. And just, oh. and just stomping those knees. I mean, this is gonna this could be career threatening for the one the only hit on the rope. Galley rat hit. Um, Oh, and what is out? Okay, good. Uh, for a second there, I thought Outlaw was going to start attacking Pitt. That, that would be no bueno for the champion. Uh, he'll just be a little bit fun of him. And Pitt, of course, is not taking that lightly because keep in mind, oh. he, will, he will most likely, if he wins this match, have to face the Outlaw for his Millennium Wrestling Federation I championship am, belt. Definitely can't wait to see that one. And it should be an incredible match, folks. And once again, Hojo is just smartly working on those knees of Pitt. I guess Pitt's not going to be able to go to church and pray next week because his knees will be shot. And again, just to the knee, Hojo clearly had one offensive game plan in mind when he started this match. And that was purely to take Pitt off of his base and take him down all the way to his back. He wants to give Pitt that three-second chance. I guess so. Now, Pitt is very slow to get up. Once again, like I said, the legs have been worked very, very good. At least he's letting him rest. And a oh. chomp block to the leg. I mean, uh, Pitt's career could end tonight purely because of this. I mean, all the muscles and ligaments, your ACL, your MCL, your kneecap, all of that stuff. You pull out one, they're all gone. And, oh, oh. Just, oh, just, and, and that that had some echo around the building. That had some echo around the NWF. It definitely did. And still, just he he's not trying to attack any other part of Pitt's body. It is never fun to see a big man cry. It really is. It's never. And it is true. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Oh, and the outlaw Keith helping Matthews out. just helped out with Timmy Longbottom causing a distraction for the ref. I mean, referee Scott Simon might have his hands full of things. I do not see Pitt getting Yeah, Pitt, Pitt might be down. Oh. And the, fan, the fans love Pitt. The fans love Pitt. He is a fan favorite. But the fans also love Kojic. I mean, this, this is just two of the fan favorites going at it. Now, Hojo is clearly taking his time. Picking his shots to make sure he can get the most damage to Pitt while exerting the least amount of energy. Both guys are on the ring. Yeah, and, and you can clearly tell that Pitt is having to use the ring to hold himself up. It's never a good sign for any athlete. 
and oh, oh, just slamming his face into the hardest part of the mat, that edge right there. Kojo is definitely working out. Turn him out. Turn him out for the win. And now just going with those stiff body shots. Just beating down Pitt. Pitt has barely been on his feet for this match. This match has gone on for five minutes right now, and Pitt's been on his feet for all of 30 seconds. Right now. And now Hojo talking it over with the ref. And while the outlaw Keith Matthews attacks Pitt outside the ring. I mean, that, that was a wonderful distraction by Hojo Devlin, but I'm not sure if he needs all of this. I mean, he's the outlaw for a reason. Very true. Very, very true. And it looks like he's going right back for that knee. Going up to the second rope. And just dropping his knees on top of Pitt's knee. I mean, that, that's just bone to bone, folks. And bone to bone can't feel good. Uh-uh. I would not want to let this fall. No. Especially not with Hojo Devlin. And just another knee wrench. Just, he will not leave Pitt's knee This is almost an assault, purely on the knee. I mean, he moves from every angle just to work that knee. Yeah, I mean, just that knee is just going to be torn to shreds by the end of the night. And Keith Matthews is holding that rope back so the pit cannot reach it. I mean, it, it, it's smart tag team wrestling, but this is not a tag team match for us. And Hojo's like the Tanya Hardy of the NWF. Wow. Working that knee. Wow. Very, very, very true statement. So I guess that makes Outwall the Jeff Goldberg in this situation. Something like that. Amazing. Nothing better than a great 90s reference during this modern <laughs> wrestling era. <laughs> well. And oh, he's going to try to lift him up and put oh. some more pressure on that knee. And, I mean, I don't even know if Hojo came in with any other plan but to attack those knees and I don't think Pitt realized he was as flexible to begin with. Yeah, I really don't think he knew that at the start of this match. <laughs> I mean, th there's not many words to say about what Hojo is doing to Pitt's knee. Chris Solder didn't take his bad or beat down as Pitt's knees taken tonight. Not at all. Now, Pitt is slowly trying to stand up on ropes, and once again, Hojo just attacks him before he can even make it to the knee. Uh, Pitt just cannot get on his feet to save his life. This, this is probably the most manhandled I have ever seen anyone treat Pitt. You know, like, he, he's just being demolished right now. Yeah, I mean, he just is stretching that leg any way he can. I, and these, half of these aren't even real moves. He's just finding a way to torture that knee. I think it's just what he does. There is there is no way to call these moves. He's just he's beasting up for lack of a better term. And he's having, he has a sort of advantage to him. I mean, he is fighting a big guy who has... I mean, yeah, there is definitely a lot of weight in that yeah. right now. And... The, and Pitt, if he wants to retain his championship, he's got to mount some form of offense to even stay in this match. I mean, he, he is down. He is very, very down. I feel bad for the guy, but somebody has to win. Well, and Hojo taking a order break here in the middle of the match. You don't see that ever. Hey, where's the video? More energy. And now, oh, that okay. That's just disrespectful. He's just cooling him off. Come on. That is not waking him up him a little. That is disrespectful. He's waking him up so he can get up and start fighting for him. I mean, he can't get up. His knees have been worked, and now since he's down on his knees, Ojo finds it smart to start working the head, working the ribs, working the gut. I mean, once once the monster is down on his knees, he's not getting back up. Quite a working way up. That's clearly what Hojo is doing right now. And even going to the back, and finally, it looks like Pitt is trying to mount some offense. And, yep, he's getting a couple of shots in. He, oh, he's up. And Pitt is really oh. up to his feet. This might not bode well for the devil Hojo Devlin. I told you that water is like You were very right on that one, Amber. And now... Oh, he is standing on Hojo's back. That is 325 pounds of weight on your back. There is no good feeling that can come from that. Now, now it looks like Pitt is kind of firmly taking control in this match. The, the tide has clearly shifted. 
I think I think the outlaw might have to jump in there if he wants to save Ojo Devlin. He and Timmy are talking about something Yeah, clearly potting. And, and I find it very unique that the owner of the company has clearly chosen favorites in this. I mean, he's supposed to be the owner. He's supposed to be in the middle and not. Not the last match, he hated Hojo when he did. He did even before the match, but I guess the Rough Riders made it up to him right. somehow. Like we didn't see. Yeah. No one, no one, the uh, outlaw and no one, Hojo Devlin was probably a bottle of Jack Daniels. You never know. Big splash, oh. Michael Hit. One, two, and kick oh out out. Or he got to the ropes after two, thanks to an assist from the outlaw, Keith Matthews. I mean, that just clearly had to knock all the wind right out of him. 325 pounds. Stepping right to the neck. And, got, and now stepping to the neck. This, this, oh, that, that's just a lot of weight. Folks. That's all I can say. And, and he doesn't right even look worried. He's not even worried. Yeah, he's talking smack to the outlaw. Oh, man. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Bring him right back down to his knees. And now both men down on their knees, trying to figure out who can be the first man to get back up and really take control offensively in this battle. Right? This is literally the definition of the immovable force meeting the unstoppable object. And now Hojo tries to throw Pitt out of the ring, and there he goes. Right to the floor, still work like, still holding that knee. That knee has been demolished for the whole night right now. Hey, Pitt, can you get back in, bro? Get back in the ring. And the outlaw just trying to play coy, not doing anything wrong. Or at least temporarily not doing anything wrong. Timmy Longbottom anxiously looking at him. Hey, Pitt, Coach Devlin. Now, Mojo Devlin seems to be going outside of the ring right now. What's he setting up for? Up, diving, Almost. Larry, miss. Wait, rebounds off, off the, the wall, wall into the kick. And throwing Pitt into the fire extinguisher. And it almost a looker. Yeah, the fans might want to clear out. This this gets a little out of hand. And Pitt is down. He looks he looks almost demoralized, folks. Almost like he's been beaten already. And boy, what's Hojo setting him up for? Him? He's got a chair set up. No good can come of Hojo Devlin and a chair. Running Lariat by that was crazy. Hojo Devlin. Incredible move, but it looks like uh, he took a lot out of himself. That is unforgiving wood on that floor right there, Amber. Oh my gosh, they are both out. Oh, what is Outlaw up to? Yeah, what's Outlaw up to over here? It looks like Timmy Longbottom is distracted. The oh, come gosh. on! Kicks come the ribs. On. Just, just kicking. That is the definition of kicking a man while he's down. Both men laid out outside the ring. The referee, of course, has to start the uh, outside ten count. Let's hope that both men can get up to his feet. Because remember, Pitt cannot lose the championship on a count out or a disqualification. He has to either be pinned or submit to lose that belt. So yeah, if, if the Outlaw and Hojo don't get and he just knocked out Outlaw. And definitely knocked out Outlaw. Outlaw had it coming to him after he's been bothering Pitt for the whole night. But Pitt better get back in that ring if he doesn't want to lose his match. They're both back in the ring now. Both men stand up. And this, yep, Pitt is going on the offensive, delivering kicks, punches, any kind of offense he can mount right now to keep Ojo Devlin down. And both these guys are obviously tired. Yes, this match has been going on for roughly 15 minutes now. Both men are exhausted. And trying to stand Hojo up. Oh, it looks like Pitt's trying to finish it right now. It, oh. Oh, oh, he went for the bring the noise, and something bad just happened. Well, these guys are down. And now, and now Timmy Longbottom's on the ring, distracting the referee once again. I guess what well, I guess Outlaw should be helping out Hojo right now since he got the referee distracted. And clearly Timmy and the referee are having some sort of awful, awful words with each other. The ref should 
get just shelf on bottom off of there. But I guess the ref doesn't want to lose his job because Timmy is the owner of this promotion. Got to be nice to the boss. Of course. Now in ring, Pitt is standing away. Oh, what he's does Elmo have? He's on the apron. What? He has something. He's, yeah, he's got something shady in his head. What? Oh! What is that? What is that? Come on! That's wrong. That's really, really wrong. Into that DDT. One, two, three. Oh, that, I don't know. What, uh, that, no, 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 not this way. Hojo Devlin is your new Millennium Wrestling Federation heavyweight champion. Wait, wait, and and now some of the one of the uh, one of the camera women seems to have discovered what what happened. Handing the referee the powder that Outlaw used, and now the ref looks in the face and sees that uh, that that uh, Pitt was hit with the powder. So now it looks like he's reversing his decision, and your winner and still heavyweight champion is the Alley Rat Pitt. I mean that that was a shocking and intense ending to this night. That definitely was. I mean, what an incredible... And Timmy Longbottom was reaching for that championship belt, thinking that his man should have... And I'll that. just knock out the referee. Oh, uh, this... There's no good that can come of this. Pitt is down. The ref is down. The Rough Riders and Timmy Longbottom are in the ring. Pitt is somewhat blinded by that power. And now that all's going after Pitt. And yet, now they are just blatantly attacking Pitt and the referee. Timmy Longbottom rolling the referee out of the ring, it seems. And yeah, that that bell that they are hearing oh, means that the no. match is over. Oh the, no. The match is over, darn it! Double oh. choke slam! The match is over! You already lost. Get out of the ring! The, Thank <laughs> you. 